my first musical memory. It's probably like three or four. I remember dancing along to the Smooth Criminal when I was a little kid. I was trying to copy the writers of the books that I was reading and then you get to the age where you develop your taste in music and so that just felt like natural to combine those elements. My first CD release was making to the best of my abilities at home. It's called Never Been Heard. Yeah, I put that out and I sold copies to friends in my high school and performed at local talent shows. From there, I went to Columbia College to learn how to maneuver better in the music industry. All the friends from that era are still friends. We started a company called Fly City, where we would perform to kind of get the name of the company out there. And once I started introducing my sound into a larger space and that music was being accepted, that kind of like solidified for me, like, okay, this is what I'm supposed to do. I had gone to see George Clinton in the Parliament Funkadelic, and that show stood out to me. It just felt like I couldn't do a show justice if I didn't have a full live band on stage with me. So I put together a band called it JDP in the Smoking Section. Just recently, me and T did a swim team show at the Knitting Factory as part of uh, Empire Music Festival. That show was sold out, band behind us, in the element, elevating all the songs. That experience was how it should be. Mm -hmm.